our goal for, for both teams is to, to do as well as we can and ideally win the, the championships. Both of our teams over the last 10 years have, have, have typically gone on to these as, as favorites and, and done well. The, the men actually aren't favored this time or second or third, depending on, on who you look at. But when you've got a group of people who've been there before and who know what it takes, um, we fully intend on going there and winning. And uh, when I was at the Hall of Fame induction, uh, Coach Freeze, he kind of seemed like he had a chip on his shoulder about the women's team, especially when he was talking about them with uh, Mary O'Hanlon. He uh, kind of just the way he was talking, it seemed like there was a lot of motivation going into the season, especially for the women, because he kind of felt maybe you guys were underrated coming into this year. Yeah, I mean, our, our women have been top eight nationally, I think, nine years in a row. Maybe it was eight years in a row, some, some, something along those lines. And, and we return most of the same group. We've got strong people up and down the board. And for this group of athletes not to be ranked, it's, it's kind of silly. And they showed it at the, the Lewis meet. And uh, hopefully we can continue to, to show it. I mean, rank, rank, rankings are rankings. They don't, they don't mean anything. They don't help you run faster. They don't make you run slower if you're not ranked. But you go out there and you run your best. And we think we're one of the better teams in the country. I guess I might ask you just the same question. Did that, did that motivate you or any of your teammates when, uh, kind of what I mentioned before, how they get quite the rankings you guys usually get? Um, you know, uh, it was a little bit surprising that we weren't ranked as high this year, but like TJ said, it's not really um, what we focus on. What we focus on is how hard we're working in practice and the goals that we have at the end of the season. Because uh, at the end of the day, if we're not ranked high, you know, the first couple weeks of practice, that's all right because what's going to matter is you know, two and three months down the road when we're at the national meet, because that's, you know, where we want to be. We want to be ranked at the end of the day, at the end of nationals, not at the end of the day after our first or second meet. So yeah, ex experience, it, it, goes, it goes a long way. Um, you want the people who, who are leaders to, to help guide the people who are, are new to the team, but, but ultimately at these races, you have a lot of hoopla, you have a lot of uh, people really going for it. And, Sometimes people don't know what to expect with it, and honestly, so, sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes for some of these teams, it might be good for them not to have experienced it just because they don't have expectations that they're not going to get there. But when you've been successful and you have that expectation of success, honestly, it's not foreign to you. Just do what you've done previously, and you should be successful. Um, a lot of things in life are um, attainable so long as you just keep, keep plugging along and you keep doing what you need to do. And we know what we need to do, and you just have to do it. Coach Show, what are you expecting to see for your, from your team? Sorry, I came in a little late. I'm trying to but for uh, for you know entering the playoff field now, what do you expect mm -hmm. to see from, uh, from this group? Um, honestly, we want it, each race from here on out. We want to have it be our best race of the season. So we've we've run pretty well so far, and we intend for it to be better at the conference championships. We know the course, we know the competition, we we know what we need to do, and our our goal is to go there and win. And so that's what that's what we're hoping for and it, kind of expecting to, to do this weekend. We don't take anything for granted. We work hard, we train hard, but then at the end of the day, if you execute and they do what they need to do, we, we, we hopefully will be up there. And then I know obviously you guys are just coming off of me, but I know there's that kind of big stretch where you guys weren't racing. Yep. Um, can you kind of talk about the, the thought process behind that of having kind of a month um, where it's more training and, and not uh, getting out there to race? Yeah, when, when, when you race, you need to, to obviously be really fit. And at the same point to race well, oftentimes you need to be a little bit rested. And it's hard to be both rested and continuing to build your fitness if you're trying to worry about all those different things. And so when you take a month of, of good solid training, you don't have to, to rest as much as you would. And so you can typically, at the end of those four weeks, be more fit than you were at the start of it or if, more fit than if you had to take a break in the middle just to rest for a few days with it. And so by no means do you wanna like, train so hard that you're, you're run ragged. Um, sometimes you're not as sharp as you would be. And so the fact that now we're coming off a, a race two weeks ago, hopefully we'll be a little bit more race ready than we were in that one and our, our fitness is higher. And so we, we've kind of been here, we've done, used this pattern of, of training for, for the last many years and it's, it's worked pretty well and, and we don't see a reason why our athletes shouldn't be able to, to have good success with it again. Um, yeah, so kind of like Coach was saying, you know, he basically said, you know, you guys know what to expect. You want this race to be as good as any other race you've had meet in the, in the past. Um, but from a team standpoint, what do you think, um, I guess, what are you most looking forward to now that we enter that, that second season of, of playoffs? Um, I think what the team looks most forward to is, um, like TJ said, having every race be our best race. Uh, I think what's really important about that is coming together as a team and outlining our goals. 
before each race and then um, really just striving to race our best each time and then recoup before the next big meet. Kind of unlike other sports, you know, with, with, with cross country, it really, um, you're all kind of building up right to that end of the season. So just how are you guys kind of feeling as far as uh, maybe reaching your peak and kind of just feeling physically right now? Um, well, I think that the four weeks that we had off was really great because we did get to come back together and we weren't racing every weekend. So we had a chance to rest, but also, like PJ said, just um, build our mileage so we could be extremely fit. And I think now that we feel stronger, um, it's and we raced really well in Chicago, that's kind of set us up for a good next few weeks um, and feeling like really positive as a team, feeling strong.